Hello everyone, I'm back for the final discussion on uh, Salvatore. If you remember when we stopped uh, the last time, uh, we had discussed uh, uh, two different transitions. One as a young boy, uh, as he grew up, fell in love, but he had to, uh, he got engaged, a uh, girl who was uh, of a higher upbringing than him, uh, staying in uh, Grande Marina, on Grande Marina, sorry, and also before the marriage he had to complete his uh, stint with the army as it was compulsory in Italy. And uh, But then uh, the rheumatism that uh, inflicted him, uh, which uh, which is quite painful, but for him it was a source of delight because uh, it was uh, an opportunity for him to get back home to his family and to his fiance, right? But when he comes back, the second uh, uh, transition that takes place, the realization that the girl whom he loved um, does not reciprocate anymore. Uh, his physical uh, change that has taken place has made him less of a man than what uh, the girl and her family had uh, desired out of life. But what is important is our understanding of uh, Salvatore. He remembered the phrase, he did not blame the girl. Yes, he cried. Yes, he was sad, but he did not blame the girl. It tells you a lot about uh, the kind of person that Somerset mom has designed in this story and that's why the opening please do remember the opening line as we discuss the final uh, section of the story I wonder if I can do it we'll come to an answer to that at the very end right now uh, of course uh, you must also remember that when we are going to start off now he has agreed like because uh, his mother wanted him to get married like all mothers do um, when the son is an eligible young bachelor, he should get married. And uh, uh, they found uh, a uh, suitable bride in Asanta, who actually was uh, had gone through probably the same kind of pain. Uh, he, she was engaged to be married to a young man who went to serve the army and never came back from Africa. She was not so beautiful. She was not attractive. But... Mm, the kind of person Salvatore has been designed, though he began with the statement, oh, she's as ugly as a devil, mm, but when he met her, probably uh, her demeanor, probably her mm, the fate that she suffered, he, he did find something which was, uh, which was uh, very pleasant, and he agreed to the marriage. And that's where we stopped. We continue from there, and we move to the final phase of Salvatore's narration right and if you see that is page 9 I hope you have your text with you on page 9 you have the first paragraph uh, the second paragraph on page 9 you have the detailing about um, Salvatore who is now no longer a young boy but he's a man so when he's a man what is the description uh, uh, big husky fellow tall and broad a big husky fellow tall and broad so he's grown up to be a, a man uh, a true italian uh, devona yes uh, full of uh, a lot of uh, physical labor remember because he he was a fisherman's son he used to swim jump into the water he, he used to swim for hours on end he is tough work on the vineyard so he grew up a lot of muscles and brawn, yes. And uh, but what is very important is he still had that ingenuous smile. The simplicity was not lost. He grew up, yes. He the realities of life. He he faced he faced those realities of life. He was uh, being a somebody who was jilted, right? But um, the smile. He retained the simplicity and probably the simplicity and uh, ingenuity of the heart as well. Trusting, kindly eyes that he had as a boy. You know, the eyes reflect the kind of person one is. So, though he grew up strong and tall, 
the sim the kindness the innocence of the of the child like eyes that he had had been retained yes he had the most beautiful manners that the author says he had the most he was very correct so what if he was not educated so what he could know only a smattering of uh, of his language to write and he, he was not very well versed in literature so what he was an ex beautiful manners so you know this this picture of beautiful manners gives you an uh, idea about how correct he was in every way so correct that he did not blame the girl for breaking the engagement yes you have a contrast here in this paragraph between him and asanta because asanta uh, was a grim visaged female she she had the air of seriousness about her yes uh, she looked old for a years so while he looked young and handsome she looked old for a years she was a few years older to him but still uh, she looked much older probably because of the strain of the kind of life she led the difficult the challenges that she faced had made her uh, look much more uh, uh, more aged than what she actually was but but there was something which was very similar to salvatore she had a good heart she had a good heart there was kindness there and another very important point please mark it all of you she was no fool she knew reality she knew that uh, he uh, salvatore had married her on a rebound yes she was not expecting a kind of a romeo juliet romance no she wasn't she was practical she was realist a marriage was needed for security a marriage was needed to for her to live her life the way she wanted to uh safety and security a family a comfort of home and she would do her chores like a dutiful wife the author says i used to be amused by the little smile of devotion that she gave her husband when he was being very masculine and masterful she never ceased to be touched by his gentle sweetness so there was a kind of understanding between them probably not the romance that he had with the girl from grande marina but there was a compassionate uh, understanding between husband and wife yes uh but she could not bear the girl who had thrown him over and notwithstanding salvatore's smiling expostulations that she had nothing but harsh words for her so though salvatore made all those expostulations you know she gave all he gave all the reasons why why the girl from grande marina had to break the engagement she she actually uh, sorry not uh, she he uh, salvatore actually spoke in favor of her why she had to break the marriage uh, very strange but that is the kind of person he is but asanta was not ready to accept those justifications for her uh, to overthrow somebody because of a physical um, challenge or a deformity was unacceptable this also tells you a lot about the kind of person she was but but that was just a fleeting uh, reference here because what followed was the birth of a family yes uh, they had children right so but their life was difficult because uh, you know uh, for fishermen i mean those who have lived near the coast will know the fishermen life is very difficult you know every evening they have to go out uh, with their boat uh, all night they have to fish they come back the next day miles some days they get a good catch some days they don't and on the basis of what they Uh, catch is what they earn so that's what they said all through the fish, fishing season towards evening he set out in his boat with one of his brothers for the fishing grounds yes at other times he was working in his vineyard from dawn till the heat drove him to rest and then again when it was a trifle cooler till dusk but remember all the time there was fishing 
during the evening at night there was work on the vineyard during the day and on top of that often his rheumatism prevented him from doing anything at all some some days the pain was so intense that he could not do much work yes he would just lie about uh, on the beach uh, with a smile with a pleasant word even though he was in intense pain that point is important he never let the world see his pain so when there were tourists down on the beach you know you're talking about naples i mean you have tourism um, galore in that part of italy so when the tourists came down and saw them uh, saw him lazing they would refer to him as lazy devils oh not a care in the world see they have no work they just spend their time lying on the beaches and smoking little do they know the reality you know many a times we assume things as we see it little did, do we understand why certain things are the way they are that's important yes then comes a beautiful uh, you know you have uh, the young boy you have the boy salvatore in the army you have salvatore the jilted lover you have salvatore the husband now you have on page 10 salvatore the father so his relationship with his children and shows another facet of this personality sometimes he used to bring his children down to give them a bath they were both boys the elder was 3 and the younger was less than 2 and they were you know they would frolic around on the beach you know and salvatore used to keep an eye on them uh, salvatore standing on the rock would dip them in the water yes the elder one bored it with stoicism you know like uh, but the baby screamed yes you know who is a stoic somebody who is sort of uh, immune to pleasure and pain so he would maintain a straight face being the elder one maintain a straight face but the younger one would scream and howl yes and and salvatore you know the exa- the the reference given here there is a there is a kind of uh, sim- simile remember the earlier simile is thin as uh, rail and here the simile is his enormous hands like legs of mutton coarse and hard wood from constant toil you know somebody who works in the farm somebody who is pulling in nets and uh, rope for fishing working in the vineyard with all the tools the hands will not be soft they will be coarse rough hands but but when he bathes his children holding them tenderly drying them with delicate care as if they were like flowers so uh, the tenderness of salvatore as a father is revealed in this line another facet of his personality yes he would uh, he would put the baby little baby you know it was uh, on the palm of his hand hold him up laughing at his smallness but what is important here is his laughter again a simile was like the laughter of an angel yes and the look in his eyes was as candid as his child he had not lost his innocence there was something very pure angel so purity uh, clearness innocence those are the attributes that we must remember when we are discussing salvatore character right? right now comes an answer to the phrase on page 6 i wonder if i can do it the author goes on to answer his dilemma whether he could do it or not so he says that last part remember this entire story is a third person narrative but the opening statement and the last paragraph what the author is telling us the audience i started by saying that i wondered if i could do it and now i must tell you that's you the reader what it is that i have tried to do i would like you to underline the statement what is it that i have tried to do because i'm going to ask you a question in relation to this as soon as it's over i wanted to see whether i could hold your attention for a few pages while i drew for you the portrait of a man just an ordinary fisherman who possesses nothing in the world except a quality which is rarest quality underline 
rarest underlined, the most precious underlined, and the loveliest underlined that anyone can have. Heaven only knows why he should so strangely and unexpectedly have possessed it. He was created at a certain point in time by God that he was immersed in all this goodness. All I know is that it shone in him with a radiance that if it had not been unconscious and so humble would have been to the common run of men hardly bearable. If it was, uh, what does this statement say? It was within him but he was not aware of it. It was something which was so natural. He was naturally kind, he was naturally radiant, he was naturally blessed. If it was in any other person who would be who would be boasting about it all the time, yes, talking about all the goodness that he or she possessed, but that was not Salvatore. He was not even concerned about the kind of person he was because he was what he was. The goodness, the radiance was natural in him. There was this air of absolute angelic candor in him. All I know is that is shown in him with a radiance. And in case you have not guessed what the quality was, I'm sure you all have guessed. I will tell you, goodness, just goodness. The purity of heart. And that was the character of Salvatore. Yes, in every walk of life that he faced, in every event, every hurdle that he crossed, he came out with a sense of goodness. So we are not reading the life of a great man, we are not re reading the life of saints, we are, not, we are not reading the life of adventurers, we are not reading the life of discoverers or scientists or historians. We are reading the life of a simple fisherman who had nothing special except that he was perfect in by way of hum, of what a human being should be. The kind of perfection that one hopes, the kind of life that one hopes. Probably some of us do hope to live by, right? Live like. All right. Uh, the next stage, of course, I we do discuss the questions, and uh, this being quite an interesting uh, uh, piece. Uh, yes, can you see it? Yeah, of course, you can. All right. Now, question one. Uh, this is from uh, uh, this year's board paper. 2020. Yes, uh, this question did come. How successful was the writer in bringing out the protagonist's innate goodness in the story Salvatore? Now, uh, you know, I, I need to reiterate this statutory warning uh, every time. You know, when you see a question like this, you'll end up writing the summary of the story. Please, please, please do not do it. How successful was the writer? You have to answer that question, right? So first you're going to write, uh, you want to start out with saying, uh, uh, Somerset mom in his story, Salvatore, held our attention right through. Yes. He held our attention right through and we wanted to know what happened to Salvatore. We, were, we, we, we judged him uh, probably wrongly through the, different situations that he faced in life. We laughed when he was relieved that he had rheumatism amidst the pain because he was coming back home. We, we were sorry for him when he was, uh, he was ditched by his, uh, uh, his uh, fiancé when he came back from the war. We, we felt uh, there was a sense of poignancy within us when he uh, on, as a rebound accepted Asanta, though they were, she was not, as he himself says, not one of physical beauty. But then we, we were happy for him when he was playing with his children on the beach, right? And 
all these different facets of how uh, the author has kept our interest in this character Salvatore is a clear indication that he has been successful in bringing out the goodness of him. Yes? Because we have in every phase of his life seeing, seen his goodness. So my request is take it event-wise if you want to or take it through his relationship. Choose which format you would like to write your response in. Either through the events of his life or through the relationship. Right? Okay. We move to the next question. Okay. Uh, this is from the specimen paper of class 11. Class 11 uh, specimen paper in the, sorry, just let me get it into focus. Yes. Uh, yeah. In the story Salvatore by W. Uh, uh, Somerset Mom, how does the narrator depict that even though the protagonist faced a number of disappointments in life, he was an example of radiance and goodness. Now, don't mind these uh, the little typos that have happened. Okay. Uh, how does the narrator depict that even though the protagonist faced a number of disappointments in life, uh, he he was an example he was an example of radiance and goodness he was an example of radiance and goodness so again any different from the earlier question yes because here how does he depict he depicts it remember again uh, Somerset Mom has depicted uh, the uh, the uh, the protagonist that is Salvatore. Uh, through the number of disappointments in he faced in life, yes. So you can trace out the disappointments that he faced in life, right? A number of disappointments. So why don't you list out the disappointments first? Uh, definitely disappointment of not marrying he had to go to the army so how did he tackle it disappointment when he came back home and his fiance said no to him the disappointment probably initial disappointment of uh, having to agree to marry a Santa whom he did not like the first time he saw her yes so we are going to talk of these three disappointments but out of each of them the kind of goodness that he uh, depicted becomes very important. Okay, so again, through the narrative, through a simple story, the main focus is an ex the how through each disappointment, Salvatore comes out as a person of tremendous goodness and humanity and that is what you are going to talk about in detail right again the same the approach remember the approach to your answer the introduction needs to be different we move to the next question question three i wonder if i could do it says the author in context of this statement answer the following questions i wonder if i could do it that's the opening phrase what had the author planned to do Simple. Remember the last paragraph? I wanted to see whether I could hold your attention for a few pages while I drew for you the portrait of a man. Just an ordinary fisherman who possesses nothing in life except a quality which is rarest, the most precious and the loveliest that anyone can have. Yes. So what had the author planned to do? Was he successful? State your views. For this, I would ask each of you to answer it yourself. Do you think he was successful? If yes, give your reasons why. In brief. Remember, it's for six marks. Successful because 
you read it, you were interested. Maybe you were awestruck. Maybe it was unbelievable. Maybe you are a cynic. Yes, you've read the story, but you still feel you've read the story. Even if you're a cynic, such goodness cannot exist in the world. You have read the story. And then you have gone back and said that impossible for such a person to be there. Doesn't matter. But if it, you've read the story, you've gone through, you've not stopped. You've not stopped in between to say that such a sto story, uh, such a man cannot exist. Or if you have, then I, I, cannot, I cannot respond. If you have said that I cannot respond to Salvatore and the goodness of this man, I'm not going to attempt this question if it comes for the exam. Fine, don't, don't, don't do it. But uh, give it a try. Why not? Uh, so difficult for us in this present age to think about somebody who is as good as him, right? There are people. There are people. Look around. You will find them. Don't be a cynic. Okay. The second part of the question is B. What were the challenges that the protagonist of the story faced? What are the challenges that the protagonist of the story faced? What were the challenges that he faced? How did he emerge from it? So the challenges that he faced, going to war, the rheumatism, uh, being uh, rejected, yes. How did he emerge from it? He grew each time. He grew stronger because of the innate goodness in his heart. It didn't affect his life. He followed his mother's instructions, got married. Happy family life. That's a picture that we get at the end. He worked, he toiled, he was successful. The way he played with his children, extremely successful. So those, the challenges and how he faced it and emerged successful out of it. That is your six months, right? And the next part C, which is it, write an estimate of the character of the protagonist, highlighting his relationships. So here, the first, the B part were the challenges, C are the relationships. So you talk first of relationship with his brothers. That is how it opened. First, relationship with his brothers. Relationship with uh, the girl from Grande Marina. The break, break up and what, how he emerges out of it. Relationship with, his, uh, with Asanta, wife and family. And finally, relationship with his son. So these four relationships... And, and then the character, the little examples of how each time the display of the same kind of goodness that we see, right? This is eight marks, so your estimate of the character. One more question, I just put it in, I just thought about this question for a 20 mark. Salvatore stands as a metaphor of the sea besides which he lived. Easy flowing, unfazed by ripples and serene. How true is this statement in context of Somerset Mom's story? 20 marks. Stands as a metaphor of the sea besides which he lived. So, uh, again, it's an estimate of the character. I've just uh, framed it a bit differently. How true is it? So, what is the quality of the sea that you know? What is the uh, color of the sea? the blue Mediterranean we are talking about. And then Salvatore who emerges out of the water at times, you know, when he's fishing or when he's swimming or when he's lazing on the beach. His life is easy flowing. There are ripples that come, but he's, un you know, like the waters flow over the pebbles. They come onto the shore. They flow onto the sand and then they again go back. He goes back to being the childlike, innocent person that he was. Again, this is for 20 marks, right? And then what I have done is, I have got some key adjectives for, sorry, key adjectives for Salvatore that I've put here. You can have a list of it. Goodness, radiance, humility, easygoing, carefree, magnanimous heart, full of goodness, forgiving, generosity, warmth of spirit, realist, a realist, 
the girl said no to him because he had become physically unfit as a husband a realist so it's fine that she's broken the uh, engagement compassionate for everyone never blamed anybody never blamed did he blame himself no he was not wallowing in self pity no pity but very empathetic maybe i could use the word empathetic compassionate humane yes part of goodness devoted very devoted devoted brother devoted uh, fiance devoted husband and a devoted father right a kind family man son father brother the different relationships so in a nutshell you have uh, adjectives that will that you should use to present salvatore in in the answers in the responses that you that you write right okay uh, well uh, this this concludes our uh, discussion on salvatore i hope you have uh, understood it's a very simple story uh, but tells us a lot about and also helps us to understand whether we do accept uh, that they could be a person as good and as perfect as divine and as caring and uh, so full of goodness like salvatore really hope there are more like him in this world then the world would be a such a happy place right don't you agree i hope you do right okay then till next time to stay safe enjoy and happy reading bye